Hi everybody, this is Handstands with Natalie. I am Natalie and this is day two of the Couch to Handstand 30 day challenge. I hope your body's feeling great after yesterday's session and I hope you're gonna feel even better after today's session. So let's get started with a little warm up. Let's get started with a body awareness exercise before we start the warm-up just like we did yesterday. Feet parallel. Close your eyes if you like. Navel pulled in towards the spine. Stand upright, really feeling the crown of your head floating upwards towards the ceiling. Root your feet into the ground. Ground your toes and keep the navel pulled in towards the spine. Feel that core engagement. Feel your spine lengthening and being supported by your core muscles. Now keeping your eyes closed, just see if you can shift back and forth on your feet, gently testing the limits of your balance. Feeling that little thrill of excitement when you're almost off balance and the joy of re-centering yourself when you've been that far off balance. And bring that down, come back to center, feel the center of your body fall through into the ground and open your eyes. And now let us again Take it into big shoulder circles. Navel pulled in towards the spine and big shoulder circles. Expanding your reach, loosening up your shoulders, switching on your muscles. Keep the navel pulled in towards the spine and roll the shoulders to the front. And notice how your shoulder blades are moving up and down on the surface of your back. They are moving up and down on your back. Let's take it into big arm circles. Navel pulled in towards the spine, feet parallel. Big arm circles. Expand your reach here in the back. Expand your reach. And bigger circles. Keep the navel pulled in towards the spine and to the front. And to the front. Every time now, when you're on top here with the arms above you, lift your shoulders up just like we did last time. Lift your shoulders up, almost as if you are swimming. That's it now. Lift the arms above you. Um, 10 shoulder shrugs with me, starting now. And one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Navel pull in towards the spine. Let's not take a break. Do it again straight away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And shake it out. And one more time above you. Hands are flexed. Push that table above you, a flat surface up towards the ceiling like a weightlifter. And let's take it for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And shake your arms. Open and close your hands. Keep the hands up in front of you. Open and close, open and close. And faster, faster faster and shake. So you see we are moving a little bit faster through all the exercises because you're a pro already at them and you can do them as fast as I do them here now. And arms to the side, open and close your fingers, open and close, open and close. And faster, 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 faster. And shake your hands. So the opening and closing is activating your grip and the muscles here in between your the bones of your hand of your wrist which we need for balancing holding our body weight up and push two wardrobes two big cars out towards the side lifting your shoulders every time you push and push and 
push. Push number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And again, shake your arms, swing your arms from side to side, step, the, step your feet apart a bit further than shoulder width and just swing your upper body from left to right gently, just so you get a very gentle twist in your spine. Um, but not, um, but, uh, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> um, but this shouldn't hurt you. It should be a pleasant, a pleasant stretch. And now let's push the arms out towards the side, but this time, and really make that a big difference. This time we are going to push the shoulders away from the ears as we push out. Okay. So we, we pull them up towards the ears and now as we push out, we're trying to push the shoulders down. And let's push the shoulders down and push away the wardrobes. And one more time, let's do this for 10, out. And three, push the shoulders down, four, and five. And push the shoulders down, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, excellent. One more time, swing the arms from side to side. So what we're trying to do with these exercises is to create a feeling for articulation and precision in the shoulders, because we don't just wanna be able to balance our body weight, but we wanna be able to actively manipulate our body weight. So we want to have responsive shoulders that are alive and moving. One more time for 10, pushing the wardrobes out, pushing your shoulders down away from your ears. Make this a big difference from pulling them up towards the ears. Really think down towards the floor into the back of your shoulder blades, right? Really like push your shoulders down. And let's push out for 10, pushing the shoulders down one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, excellent, very good. Let's have another look at our core stability muscles and take it a little bit further than the mini sit-up we did yesterday. So this time, we are actually going to gently lift the shoulder blades off the floor, but just a tiny bit, really like, don't stress yourself about doing a big sit-up or anything. We are really taking it slowly day by day um, and, and we really try to activate those connections that we need in order to do a sit-up. So maybe next week, by next week, we are going to do a sit-up. So here, as I touch my thighs here with the hands, I lift the head off the ground and I try and reach a little bit further, almost touching my knees, but not quite. And then I bring the arms above the head. And one more time, lift the head off, touch, just lightly touch gently the thighs a little bit higher than we used to do. Let's do this for 10 and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, nine and 10. Okay, and relax. Turn around onto your stomach and let's lift again, this time for 15, lifting up and lift up a tiny bit further than yesterday. And here really try and push your thighs into the ground by squeezing your bottom. Yeah, so this may feel a little bit um, weird in the beginning, sort of being this strange little warm here on the floor, snaking around, but like really try to engage your core by pulling the navel in towards the spine and squeezing your bottom and push, try and push the thighs into the ground. Let's lift the head up for 15 and one and two and three, 
four. Squeeze your bottom. Six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Let's do five more. One and two and three, four, five. Excellent. Very good. Come back onto your knees. Now what we're going to do next is just place the hands on the floor, dig your fingers into the ground as if you're grabbing the floor, really dig the fingers into the ground, ground your hands, fingers spread as wide as you can. And from here, just gently rock back and forth. And then you're going to feel a little resistance in the wrists at some point, which will be different for everyone, depending on your wrist flexibility. And so you are trying to gently challenge yourself here and push this wrist stretch a little bit further. But really make sure you are not feeling any pain. And you should always, when we, when we um, do this wrist stretch, really make sure you, you still dig your fingers into the ground so you have active fingers and palms. So just gently rock back and forth. You can also flip the toes under if that's more comfortable. And back and forth, and back and forth, and a few more times. See, and really try to notice where that point is. Your maximum wrist flexibility, where is it? Before you can improve it, you need to notice the status quo first. So first you need to be aware of how far you can go, where your limit is, and then you can try to improve that. Okay, from here, push back onto, push your weight back onto the heels here. Push your weight back onto the heels. So this may not look the same as when I do it here. Maybe when you do it, you are here or you have different flexibility uh, a little different of flexibility from me here in the legs and that's totally okay. Just try and apply the general principle of the, of the movement and the exercise I show. So push yourself back onto your feet and then basically what you're doing is you're just uh, lowering the knees and you bring them back, you rock them back, yeah? So rock back and forth. And this will bring a bit of weight onto your hands here quite automatically. And when you feel the weight pouring into the hands, push into the ground, push your shoulders into the ground to the front and be active. Expect the weight to come here. This is a great feeling, really digging your hands into the ground, feeling the strength of your arms that are doing all this work. Actually, your arms are working a lot more here than the feet are really push into the ground okay and then just stay here in the back so again every person's body is different uh, don't get stressed if it doesn't look the same if it's not that compact but just see if you can stay here so this may be very uncomfortable if you're not used to it but it's a very nice stretch for your achilles and it's really a starting point for working on your leg flexibility so from here now see if you can straighten your legs put the heels on the floor first and see how far you can straighten your legs so the main point here is to re is to keep a compactness here in the crease of your hips yeah so you can use a chair for this as well you can just put your arms in that case on the chair and do the same movement as i do it here while resting half of your body weight on the chair but from here, just test how far, put the heels down first, how far can you straighten the legs? Maybe you can straighten them completely or just a bit. So stay here if this is how far it goes and then come back to a squat. Let's do this two more times. Straighten the legs and bend and straighten and bend don't forget to breathe here make sure you're breathing in this exercise one more time straighten the legs and now keep your knees bent slowly roll up through the spine 
come down onto your knees. Let's do our sideways, supported sideways plank position again. And this time focus on pushing that hand into the ground. So this time try and take that hand off. One knee is bent. Get into the supported sideways plank position. Make sure you have one straight line here. So you're not dipping your hips low or pushing them up. Stay in a straight line and really try now this time to take this hand off, put it onto your hip, push into the floor with this hand, with this arm. Let's stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Lower it down. Well done. Let's do the other side. One knee is bent. The other one, the other leg is straight. Push yourself up into a sideways plank. See if you can peel this hand off, put it onto your hip. Stay here with me for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, and bring it back down. So now you probably already feel the little bit of a taste of the strain that your wrists have to cope with. But as you go along and as we do this type of work more, your wrists are going to adjust if you prepare them well for taking the load. So from here again, let's take it one more time into our tabletop position and tuck the feet under and let's lift the knees Remember to pull your navel in towards the spine. Remember to push the arms into the floor. And let's see if we can hold it here for 15 seconds. And let's try and do that three times. Three times, 15 seconds, okay? So flip the toes under and navel pulled in towards the spine. Push into the floor, peel your knees off. Stay here for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it. One, two, three, four, and five, and lower. Well done. Very good. Excellent. Swing the knees to the front. Place your arms behind you. So I'm placing them diagonally here behind me. 45 degree angle and place the fingers on the floor. Push your chest up towards the ceiling for a gentle stretch here in the arms. Push the chest up towards the ceiling and don't forget to breathe and stay here. And release. Let's come back to the tabletop position. Flip the toes. Navel put in towards the spine. You're gonna hear me say that <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna hear me say navel in towards the spine. And push in through the floor. And peel the knees off. Let's stay here for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15, excellent, and lower down. Very good. And one more time, let's do the chest opening stretch. The arms are placed diagonally behind, and push your chest up towards the ceiling, and stay here. And take a deep breath. Let's swing the legs around for a last set. And this time, because now you know this exercise a bit better, really check whether your neck is in line with the spine. Sometimes what happens when we do exercises like this is that the head drops. Make sure it's in line with your spine. So flip the toes, navel in towards the spine, push into the floor, peel the knees off, stay here for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stay here with me for one, two, three, four, five, six, 
five. Okay, very good, and release. So let's take it one step further even and bring the knees in closer towards your hand. You can put a towel here underneath your knees as well if this is, we're doing a lot of stuff like crouch down on the floor in the beginning here in handstand training. So if you're not used to that, just put something soft there to protect your knees. And from here, let us try. You remember we did this thing here from a squat. We were just straightening the knees. Okay, that's the same thing we're gonna do now, except we are going to have a half of our body weight on the hands. So it means that we are slightly leaning towards the front, right? So I'm not here in the squat. I was really perched up on top of my feet and now I'm slightly, my shoulders are slightly further towards the front. So I'm almost in line with my wrists here. Yeah, so from here, try to straighten the knees as much as possible. Try to straighten the knees as much as possible and push into the ground and stay here and come back down. So we are trying to round the back here, which I'll talk about more tomorrow. But for now, try and round your back and remember what we did in the tabletop where we were pushing the arms to the front and in the beginning where we were pushing the shoulders up towards the ear, it's the same principle. You wanna push into the ground by lifting your shoulders or pushing them front in this case. So one more time, crouched here, perched up on top of your feet and then take it a little bit further front and then lift your hips sort of halfway Try and round your back and stay here with me now for 10 seconds, pushing into the ground for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come down. Really good. So now you're probably sweating already a little bit. You can feel your shoulders burning. Let's do this one more time. 10 seconds. If you want, you can just drop the head and you don't have to like, Keep it here, pulled back sort of towards the back. So again, from a squat, let's lift the hips, push into the ground, round your back, stay here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. And come back to your knees. Find a comfortable position to sit. And we're just gonna do a stretch for the shoulders to cool down. Take your arm across the front. So here again, try and pull the shoulders away from your ears. Sit in an upright position. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can also sit on your knees or whichever way you like, unless. So the only thing I want is that you have an upright spine, right? So that you're not round like that so take the arm across your front and hold on to your elbow here press the arm towards you gently make sure you press this shoulder down and away from your ears and other side release this hand across here push the arm towards you and this shoulder is pushed down and away from your ears. Very good. And release. And now the palm is pressed towards the floor and my head is pulling the opposite direction. And hold it here. And be aware of your breath. And let's change sides, palm flat towards the ground, press the floor away, the imaginary floor away, and the opposite, and the end of the head describes basically an opposite movement, just slightly tilted. So we get a stretch here across the side of the neck, and maybe even a bit of a nerve stretch here across the front of the arm. And breathe. You did really well. And now let's just take a moment to close our eyes for a minute and check in 
with what we've learned today. So if you want, close your eyes or fix your eyes on a point on the floor and take a minute to remember what was new today in the past 20 minutes. What already felt familiar? And what was challenging? Maybe you had a moment of discovery. Maybe you had a moment of frustration. And maybe you felt a little spark of optimism or joy towards all the things that you can still learn and that you are going to learn. And just take a second to appreciate how well you did today in this class. And open your eyes. I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I'm very happy that you are doing this handstand journey together with me. Let me know what you think. Comment below and um, have a great day.